Hello and welcome. The marriage bill was yesterday finally passed by the National Assembly following amendments made to the proposed law by Senate last month. After the approval of the amendments by Senate last month, the bill had to be returned to the National Assembly for it to consider the changes before it was sent to President Munangagwa for his assent. The bill was initially passed in the National Assembly in 2020 but was held up in the Senate after traditional leaders objected to a clause that said that payment or non-payment of a bride price could not be regarded as barrier in solemnizing marriage between between two consenting adults if they have satisfied other requirements of the law. But traditional leaders led by Chiefs Council President Fortune Charumbira argued that payment of bride price was a hallmark of marriage in customary unions. There had been differences between the government and traditional leaders on the clause related to Lobola payment in the customary union and powers of chiefs as marriage officers. The new amendments allow marriage officers who include traditional leaders solemnizing customary unions in their own areas to ask parties to a marriage where or not Lobola has been paid. The amendments also provide that a marriage officer in a customary union cannot solemnize unions where couples had stayed together for less than five years. Under unregistered customary law unions, the amendments made it clear that a marriage officer to a proposed customary union can include questions about Lobola among those required for establishing the identity and age of the couple. In these solemnizations of unregistered customary unions, the couples have to present an affidavit jointly sworn to by the them to the effect that they have been living together as husband and wife for at least five years or more and that they are not related to each other within any prohibited degree of kinship that is recognized by their community as an impediment to marriage between them. They also have to be affidavits by two witnesses of whom one witness must be a relative of the groom and the other relative of the bride, corroborating the fact that the proposed marriage partners have been living together as man and wife for five years or more and that they are not related to each other within the the prescribed degree of kinship. The period of five years referred to in this section shall not include any period during which either of the parties was below the age of 18 years at the time that they purportedly began to live each other as man and wife.